All right, here's a pattern making hack that no one is talking about. Back in the day, I'd have to go thrifting to find a garment and then bring that home, seam rip it, use all those separate panels, iron them out and use that as my pattern to trace on other fabrics. When I was done, I'd bag it all up and then save until the next time when I'd have to pull it out, iron it and use it again. Sometimes I would thrift, sometimes I would use some of my favorite pieces in my closet, but that means I have to take my clothes apart and sometimes destroy them or seam rip them and cut them open. And it doesn't give me room to adjust. Every adjustment has to be done on paper. Also, if you're thinking long-term, those patterns, eventually maybe the paper deteriorates. If you have a digital pattern that you can reprint and reproduce constantly, it's way easier. Disclaimer, this isn't 100% accurate, it's a hack. So it just allows you to bypass downloading or buying uh, pattern making software and learning how to pattern make. Though you will have to learn how to grade the sizes, but we could save that for another video. This is the method that I use to create some of my patterns online, which I share with everyone. They're all free, the PDF downloads. If you go to www.gloryallen.com, you can see in the DIY collections, there's tons of free patterns. There's gonna be more as I make more and more tutorials. So check that out. All the PDF patterns are free. You just have to Google a local shop to print them at. Or if you can't find a local shop, I do have a paper pattern option and DIY kits. So let's get onto this trick, how to pattern make without knowing how to pattern make. Okay, so the first step is gonna be take your garment apart. I'm using a front panel from a hoodie tutorial that I'm dropping soon. And the embroidery here is actually done by Merch Co, which is a shop in Toronto. So hit them up for any embroidery or printing needs. If you're taking your garment apart, make sure you grab an iron and iron the pieces flat so they're all perfectly smooth. If you don't wanna take your garment apart, you can also just copy the panels onto paper and use paper as your panels. The second step is gonna be taking your panels and putting them on the floor, ideally on a contrasting surface. I have these foam boards that I got from the dollar store. They're a buck each, so grab a few. And then if you can, grab in white and in black so that you have different options for contrasting colors depending on the panels that you might be using or paper. Smooth out any wrinkles or creases so that it's as flat and smooth as possible. And then use a ruler. It doesn't have to be a long meter stick like this. I have plenty of rulers. Any ruler will do as long as there's a form of measurement on it. We're gonna take our phones. If you have an iPhone, go to your settings, go to the camera option and turn on grid, cause that's gonna give you these crosshairs to give you a level picture. Once crosshairs match up, it'll be all yellow. Snap a picture and you're good. Make sure you have the ruler in the picture as well and use two hands to steady your phone. With the picture in your photo app, import them to Illustrator. I use an artboard with 36 inches height because that's the largest size of the paper that I can get it printed on at the shop that I use. And then I do the width at, I don't know, 70, 80. You can increase it as you add more panels. You're gonna create a one inch line and I usually just have it at zero degrees. I'm gonna lock this so that it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna adjust the image using that one inch line as a reference to the ruler in your picture. This is gonna resize the picture to scale. Hold shift when you're adjusting the size of the picture to keep the proportions the same. And then when you're done that, create a shape or an outline around each panel. Repeat that process for each panel. And now you have a digital copy of every panel you have on Illustrator. It's not 100% foolproof. When I got my first copy, I would put the panels on top to double check and match up the lines. And if it doesn't match up, then I had to adjust it on the computer and print a second copy. But it does work. It's how I shared my first few sewing patterns, which again, they're all free. The PDF patterns are all on gloryallen.com. And each of those patterns are paired with a tutorial on my YouTube channel, which if you're interested, I have a hoodie tutorial coming up real soon. So stay tuned. And that's it. So until next time. Peace.